Well, Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island has seen 11 eruption episodes now in the past two months. I wanted to find out why these eruptions are happening so frequently, so I went to the experts to learn more. It's been a hot topic on everyone's mind since December 2024. Kilauea making itself known, showing off spectacular eruptions confined within the Halema'uma'u caldera. But why are we seeing so many consecutive eruption episodes? We've set up a single narrow conduit, and you can kind of think we're doing kind of the Mentos experiment if you want. We have magma down below that's pretty fizzy and the magma from the eruption below goes down into that narrow conduit and acts kind of like a cork. So we build up enough pressure to push that cork out of the way and as soon as the fizzy lava, the lava with a lot of gas in it gets near the surface, it starts to fountain and it's been making these beautiful 200 to 400 foot high fountains during each episode. Dr. Ken Hahn, the scientist in charge of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, says Kilauea's unique topography is responsible for the unique eruptions at its summit over the last few months. It's the first one we've actually seen within Halima'uma'u that's been recorded by observatory staff in the last hundred years. And it's a single eruption that started on December 23rd um, and has been going on, but it's episodic. Instead of being continuous, it happens in these little kind of pulses that we get these beautiful high fountains. So how do volcanologists forecast the next episode? The experts look at the summit inflation data from rising magma levels, and from there, an increase in pressure will cause the dense, older magma to rise up, starting the eruption process. So it's basically, if you think of a champagne cork, what it's doing is wiggling that champagne cork out of the way to get the older kind of dense degas magma out of the conduit. And uh, so it's going to rise up, rise up, put pressure on that plug of dense material and finally push it out. And that's why the fountains kind of start slowly and then get higher after about a half an hour or an hour. Now, because the magma stays so close to the surface of the summit, we see very short-lived episodes. Now, the question is, when will this activity conclude? It's hard to say. What we don't know is how many more episodes. And so as volcanologists, we're really pretty good at telling you when something's going to start. We're not very good at telling you when eruptions are going to end. Unlike the 2018 eruption that flowed through Leilani Estates, most of the magma activity in this eruption is confined to just beneath the summit, meaning right now there are no threats to nearby homes and it's easy for USGS to track. We feel it's a privilege to be able to see these because this is not something that happens very often. So we're constantly there watching the volcano so that we can let everybody else know what we think is going to happen next. Carly Yoshida, Island News.